I'm Matt Yates from Rickon High School and today I'm learning a bit about carpentry, so I'm really looking forward to it. Today's building industry is highly professional with a highly skilled workforce and work can range from small residential projects to the construction of large commercial sites. Hey Matt, here you go, how are you? Jay, do you want to come with me? I'll give you all your TV gear. Oop. Matt's getting the chance to learn the building trade with Christchurch firm HRS Construction. They're erecting a new outpatient consulting complex next to the hospital. Up to 50 tradespeople might be on site at any given time and supervising both them and the build is site foreman Jay Anderson. If you have them both at the back, it will be back, back heavy and you have them both at the front, it will be top heavy. Right. If you have it like that, you, you'll look like a bit of an egg, but it will stay on your head. Right. Following a safety briefing, Matt takes a look at the tools he's going to need for the job. Carters Madras Street have generously lent us some tools for you to use. This kit does go back to them. OK, but um, use them as, as much as you want and use them like a tool. Don't be scared to get them dirty. But the first tool for Matt isn't a fancy one. When you start on the site, you've got to start at the beginning. So I want this mess swept up and chucked in the skip. OK. OK? Yep. So not only is it um, starting at the ground and finishing the job, they have to have an insight of what's happening within the whole project. It's not just a matter of hammering in nails into timber. It's a hell of a lot more than that. Good man. Pretty good. Cool. Right out, just take it and dump it and skip. There's a hell of a lot to learn, and even after they've done their four year apprenticeship, there's still a lot to learn, and I'm still learning. Everyone learns, every job we do, there's something different. That's what makes it so exciting. This hospital building is an unusual design. It's portable, can be unbolted into small sections, and taken away to be re erected on another site. So, how do you start a building off like this? Well, we start off by getting a surveyor in. We started here on the 16th of January. We built, we built on top of the existing rubble of the nurses' hostel that was here beforehand, which got damaged in the uh, first uh, Christchurch earthquake. We pour our foundations with, with the piles set into them, and we have a normal bearer and joist floor right. on top of that, ready to, ready to take the frames. Right, Matt. This is Toshi. Right, there you go. Yep. Toshi will now show you how to hang a door. OK. OK? Yep. The boys do start off on pretty low wages, but as you come up through the ranks, what? they the get a side? fairly decent yep. pay. They get overtime, they get tall money. The morale's usually fantastic. What happened? I think it was on reverse. Oh! You can't be a stun mullet. You need to know what you're going to be doing. You need to listen. You need to be able to follow instructions. And you have to be a team player. That's the big thing. There's nowhere in this, in, in this industry for an individual. You really have to be a team player. That's it. That's your uh, double doors done. A bit of a muck up there, so it's a bit of trial and error to sort of get it all up and true and straight. But um, yeah, got there eventually. So um, yeah, it was good. Yep. He's going very well. He's got the nouse to know what to do. He's definitely not a stunned mullet. He now knows how to use a battery drill uh, in forwards rather than reverse to put a screw in. Um, yeah, so he's doing very well. Because of the earthquake, Christchurch health facilities have been much stretched. This building will be completed in just six months. Well, the challenges are always the programme and the logistics of the job. So my goal personally is to beat the programme. And we're all here to, we're going to do a quality job in a short period of time and also bring it in on budget. So that, that is the big challenge. BCITO's National Certificate in Carpentry is the industry standard for working as a licensed carpenter. G'day, Ray. Hey, Tony, how you going this morning, mate? Yeah, good, mate. Yourself? Yeah, good to see you. Training advisor Ray Brill is here to carry out an assessment. His job is to act as mentor and support the training process. You're still collecting quite a bit of evidence for us? and uh, Yeah, well, a few photos. i got that diary for you. Yeah? It's possible to start an apprenticeship straight from school with the support of an employer. Well, they can obviously start off as an apprentice, come through their apprenticeship into a, a leading hands role. They then can go into a foreman's role, site manager's role. They can go to university and become a project manager. The sky's the limit, really. You can get right up there. You can start your own company if you wanted to. Andy, yep. this is Matt. Oh, yeah, nice. How you going? You too. Andrew. Andy's the site foreman on site. Yep. So you're going to help him put a full height wall in here for a toilet petition? Right. Junior foreman Andrew Hamilton has just completed his apprenticeship. We put all our apprentices um, with a carpenter to start with. Not for long. The last thing we want them to, to learn is that someone's always going to be telling them what to do. So they're usually only with a carpenter for two or three months. Just keep dropping it. 
just like that. Look at that. So if you put two nails there. So far, so good. Before Matt takes on his last task, there's a short trip to take with company owner Richard Gibb. So is there going to be a lot of work in the coming years? I'd see with the earthquake recovery, there's probably 10 to 15 years work easily. Um, and that's going to be a variety of work. The Christchurch earthquake rebuild will be driving massive demand for fully qualified builders. Richard takes Matt up the road to the red zone. If you look at what we built last year, um, that building now through no fault of its own, instead of being 100% of the code when it was built back then, is now probably sitting around 72% of the new code. Um, and as I say, we're still below Wellington's code. And when you look at the old brick buildings that have come down, they're right through the country. Um, really, this shouldn't just be Christchurch's problem, this should be everybody's problem now. And uh, the building growth through New Zealand should actually increase and the demand for staff should be right across the country. For the last task of the day, Matt's heading for the high ground. OK, Matt, what you see up there is uh, Andy and Juddy. They're up there measuring the uh, Titan board. They're going to come down, give you the measurements, you're going to mark it out, they'll oversee it and you'll cut it. And yeah. don't muck it up because they're very expensive sheets. OK. OK? Yeah. Good man. Cool. Sweet. So what we're going to be doing, yep. see this picture here? Yep. It goes above that long one up the top. Right up top. Right. Right. So uh, I'll let you set it out. Okay. The measurements are all there for you. Yep. Join the dots. Cool. Perfect. Fantastic job to be in. We're inside, we're outside. Yep. Always something different to be doing. It's definitely not boring, and your days go so fast. Slide it across. You hold that there. Yep. We'll put our packers underneath. So you drop that down. Yep. And it's ready to just screw off. Good job. Cool. Done. Yeah, Matt fitted in very well today. He worked well with his peers. He followed all instructions. He's got a great attitude, a great personality, and I would say you'd have no problem getting employment in the future. Got a, quite an array of um, tasks to do, which um, sort of gave me a bit of a bit of a taster as to what the um, the whole carpentry um, job sort of entitled, particularly up in that hoist. I've never been up in one before, so um, it's pretty testy, but um, uh, came through all right. And uh, overall, just enjoyed experiencing um, the carpentry trade and um, definitely consider it for the future. If you'd like to become a builder, you'll need to complete BCITO's National Certificate in Carpentry Level 4, completed in employment as a managed apprenticeship. You will work under an experienced builder who will provide you with on-the-job coaching and support throughout your apprenticeship. You will also have the guidance of a BCITO training advisor. There are no strict entry requirements to starting a carpentry apprenticeship. It will help if you have good maths and English skills, as you will need to work out measurements, quantities and angles, and be able to understand instructions well. Building's not just a job, it's a professional career. It will take you around three to four years to finish your apprenticeship and get fully qualified. It costs $1,470 to start, then $705 for each year of training after that. To start your career as a carpenter, contact the BCITO on 0800 422 486 or visit bcito.org.nz for more information. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.